So hey guys, currently I'm working on a Christmas video. This is my 2017 Christmas video by the way. I uh, There's probably going to be more Christmas videos for different years after this. If my channel lives that long. But this happened right before I could record it. So I'm going to probably upload the two on the same day. So anyways, I thought this was an interesting story and I also need to vent. The whole family went to Walmart today because Dad had to return something, and I, I don't think it was a Christmas present, but it, 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 it very well may be. DP and I were exploring, I mean, um, browsing the store, and eventually DP had to go to the bathroom. And then I had to go to the bathroom. I took a really long time, if you know what I mean. And during that time, I took off my watch and I set it on top of the toilet roll thing. You know how, like, sometimes the thing that holds the toilet roll in the stall, it's, like, box-shaped. You can set stuff on top of it. Yeah, I set it there. Don't judge me. My watch is big and bulky. So, yeah, you probably know where this is going. I mean, you did read the title, didn't you? And so, anyways, after that... And a while after shopping, we go to GameStop. I'm sorry, I just really like our GameStop. Our GameStop is probably the best and the coolest GameStop ever. Recent video. And so after walking out of GameStop, I go to check the time because I wanted to be home to record my Christmas video and I wanted to make sure that I didn't record it late. Which, yeah, I'm going to have to record it tomorrow. And so I look and lo and behold, my watch isn't there. So me and DP run as fast as we can to get to the stall, check it, and it wasn't there. So then we got in line in the customer service, which took a really long time, probably 15 minutes. And this is right after Dad was in line, and Dad wasn't even in line, he was the only one there. So apparently everyone else came at the exact same time to return Christmas presents or something or other. and. I wasn't really that mad that I lost my watch because it was all beat up anyways. I mean, it wasn't super beat up, but there was this, this small scratch on it. But waiting in line just frustrated me even more because this was such a small thing and I had to wait for like three people, which, yeah, it took like 15 minutes. So we finally get to the clerk and we ask if they have it in Lost and Found, and apparently they can't access Lost and Found without a manager. So they call up the manager, assistant manager comes up with the keys, and unlocks the little thing that has the Lost and Found stuff. What really bothers me is that they didn't know that it was in there in the first place. I mean, I left this about probably 20 minutes ago. And they, they don't have any recollection that there was a watch. Maybe these people are on a new shift. But if you need the manager to access Lost and Found, then the manager should know, right? So anyways, he unlocks the little thing, and he's like, So what are you looking for? This wasn't what he sounded like, by the way. And I was like, Oh, I'm um, looking for my watch. Oh, all right, let me see down here. You're looking for your watch, are ya? Uh, yeah. Hmm. It's a partially gold with a black strap and green screen, digital. Um, yeah. Nope, don't have it. Okay, he didn't completely describe the watch. So, yeah, I lost my watch. I checked all over my room. We checked the car. We checked Grandma's because we're at her house for Christmas, if you don't know. We don't, we don't, we don't have it and it's gone. Which kind of makes me mad and sad at the same time. Mad that I lost a perfectly good watch. Okay, it, it did have that one scratch on it. But now I have to pay for a new one. And it's kind of sad because someone, someone deliberately stole this watch because they needed it. And this was like right after Christmas time. So maybe they needed it for like a Christmas present. Maybe they couldn't have bought their own watch with their own money. And it's, it's... If you understand how desperate a person is to steal a random watch, then it's kind of sad. Or maybe they just stole it to sell it! But in truth, I guess it doesn't really matter. At least now, Doberman won't be constantly asking me, Hey, what time is it? That's a whole nother story. So yeah, that was, that was my short story. There wasn't really any, any, like something amazing happened it's just i lost my watch so anyways comment below how much you hate 
customer service lines. Or maybe you work in one. Maybe you don't hate it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.